everyone, it's Heather with Tiller here. Today I want to share a quick demo of how to move a worksheet from one Excel workbook into another. So you may have heard that we recently released uh, the insight sheet here for the Tiller Foundation template for Microsoft Excel. And so maybe you're wondering, how do I get this insight sheet into my existing foundation template? Don't want to start over in a new foundation template, or perhaps you are exploring some of the show and tell solutions here for Microsoft Excel. Most of the builders who build these solutions and share them in the show and tell section in the Tiller community are building them to work with the foundation template. And so the steps that I'm going to demo will help in all of those circumstances for how to get those particular solutions into your existing workbook. So first thing you want to do is just go ahead and um, have your workbook open, your existing foundation template for Microsoft Excel. So I've got it here. It's my Tiller foundation template. And then I'm going to demo the steps for getting the insights sheet into this template. You can see here, I don't have an insights sheet. Tabs down at the bottom, there's no insights sheet. So I want to get that insights sheet in. So I'm going to go back to my Tiller console here, sheets.tillerhq.com. And then I'm going to go and open this create a spreadsheet. You can just click it to expand. I'm going to download a fresh copy of the foundation template because the latest version of the foundation template has the insight sheet built in by default. Um, so any new folks coming in, you're already going to have the insight sheet, but these steps are great if you want to get some of those community solutions in your workbook as well. So now I've downloaded that here on my computer. I can show in the folder so I know where to find it looks like it's here in my downloads folder. So back in my Excel workbook here, I'm going to go and click open here and open it this way just because I'm on a virtual machine. So it tends to try to open it on my Mac if I just click um, the, the file that got downloaded. Um, so I'm going to find it here to my downloads and I'm going to go ahead and open. So here's the new copy, Tiller Foundation template. It's got that one in parentheses because it's the next like, iterative version that I've downloaded. It's in my downloads folder. So what I want to do is right click on the insights sheet here and I'm going to say move or copy. I'm going to choose my, my original foundation template workbook from the drop down here where it says to book. There's a drop down. I'm just going to choose Tiller Foundation Template because that's my original foundation template. I'm going to leave this create a copy unchecked. I don't want to check this box. It just makes the steps a little bit more complicated. And I'm going to say move it before the transaction sheet and then I'll click OK. Now Excel is going to automatically navigate me into that destination workbook, which is my original Tiller Foundation Template workbook. So now I see that it moved the insights sheet just before my transaction sheet. There's one last step for all of these to make sure that the new worksheet that you just moved in to your workbook is referencing the data in that specific workbook and not any data that was in its original source workbook. And so you can go to the data ribbon here, the top of your Excel workbook, and then choose this edit links. And then from here, I'm going to say change source. Click change source there. And then I'm, I need to just go and find the workbook, my original foundation template workbook, because I want to point the links and the data source to that specific workbook. Because you can see right now, there's no data pulling in, but I have all kinds of data categorized in this particular sheet. And so this edit links is going to fix that for me. So that original workbook is here in my MIE folder that I use uh, for demoing migration steps for money in Excel. So I'm going to click OK. I've selected my foundation template that I've been using. Click OK here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click close. And then you can see kind of in the background here, you might have noticed this change, but now it's actually showing me data for this particular workbook because I've updated those links. So all of the formulas in the insight sheet were referencing that old workbook, the original new copy of the foundation template. 
And so we have to do that edit link step to kind of fix those references. So now it's just pulling directly from my uh, foundation template, all the data here in my foundation template. So I get a lot of really great insights right on the insight sheet here uh, with the data that's in this foundation template. So those are the quick steps for moving a worksheet from one workbook to another. We hope that's been helpful. Feel free to reach out and support if you have any questions about those steps. Thanks for watching and have a great day.